Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in Luminar AI and this is another deep dive video. I've been doing a few of them and I will continue to do more. If you have specific tools you would like me to do a deep dive on, let me know my friends. I appreciate that. This one is about color harmony which is on the pro tab. So if you go over here to the right hand side on an image, and by the way, um, this photo has had nothing done to it. Let me show you the before and after and the sliding window. Nothing has been done, right? This is just a photo unedited. Um, scroll down to the pro section and here's color harmony. And we're gonna get into this. It is incredibly powerful, incredibly useful. And frankly, it's just fun. So let's get going. Now there's four primary sections, this top section, and then color contrast, split color warmth, and my personal favorite, color balance. We're gonna jump into every one of those. So first things first, brilliance and warmth. Just uh, as the name implies, brilliance is just gonna intensify the color. So as I drag it to the right, they all get a bit more vibrant. I kind of think of it as like a vibrancy slider. It just creates richer looking colors. And of course the opposite is true. If you go to the left, it's taking away that saturation. So, you know, on a photo like this, you might bump that up a little bit. And then the warmth slider, this is basically a temperature control to the right is gonna create more warmth in the photo globally, right? And to the left is gonna create a cooler look across the photo, again, applied globally. So these two sliders work really well when you just wanna do some minor kinda, of, a little bit of punch in color and perhaps a little bit of change in temperature. And you don't wanna go back up here and get into the color slider and do saturation or vibrance or get into light and adjust temperature. This color harmony is a great place to start and these two sliders work great. So in this case, I might would go maybe something like that. I kinda of like a little bit of a cooler look and I like to bring the highlights warmer because I like that interplay of the warm and the cool in the sky. And I've got a little bit of warm here and a lot of cool. So using that plus some of these other tools, I can really accentuate that. Now I'm gonna reset this and then uh, go into the next tool. And then at the end, I'll walk through using all four of these on the same image. Okay, color contrast. So first you have to move the amount slider to turn on the hue. But basically what this does is you drag the hue slider and you pick a color that you want to accentuate. And the color that you pick, let's say I go with a little bit of a warmer tone, kind of a yellow. When you drag the amount slider, the hue that you've picked is going to get lighter. And the color that's opposite that color on the color wheel is going to get darker. So if you're not familiar with a color wheel, I happen to have one here. So in this case, yellow, if you look at this color wheel, the opposite of that is blue. And we're going to get into this color wheel when we get down to color balance, okay? But yellow and blue are opposite each other. So what happens when uh, I select the yellow hue and then drag the amount, the yellow is gonna get brighter and the blue is gonna get darker. You can see that happening right there. So let me turn this off and show you the before and the after. It's really popped the, uh, the image quite a bit. It's added a nice bit of contrast because it's darkening those cooler tones and it's brightening the warmer tones. So it's creating some natural contrast in the image which I think looks fantastic. Now keep in mind, I haven't done anything else to the image because it's unedited prior to using this tool and I didn't do anything with brilliance and warmth because those are at zero. So as the name implies, that color contrast really does pop the contrast depending on the colors that you select. Now, it's gonna vary based on each image. So if I did this with the blue hue selected um, and then pump up the amount, it's probably gonna look terrible. Yeah, see blue is getting really bright or blown out and then the warm tones are getting like on the beach it just looks terrible so um every image is going to be different experiment with that but like on a sunset like this it can work to your advantage and come in pretty handy now split color warmth okay another great tool that's why i like color harmony so much it literally has four amazing color control tools and if you've been here before you know i like my color and like to play with it and i, I like saturated colors i can't help it um but you don't have to do that in here. You can just massage the colors and do it gently if you don't want to go with a saturated image. So despite this being about color, um, it is also about harmony, not just color over the top. That's why it's called color harmony, I suspect. So split color warmth. Basically, the top slider warm. If you drag it to the right, the warm tones in the image get warmer and a bit more intense. But if you go to the left, it kind of neutralizes them, for lack of better words. So if you take that to the left, the cool colors are still basically the same level of intensity or saturation. The warm colors have really gotten desaturated. So it's a way to adjust the intensity of just the warm or the cool tones. Now the cool slider is just the opposite. If you go to the left, the cool stuff gets cooler. And if you go to the right, it gets kind of neutralized, kind of the opposite, right? So it's getting a little bit warm there. Now you can do some creative toning effects here if you wanted. You can do something kind of weird like that. 
I say weird, that might be your thing. I don't mean that as an insult, just something a little bit different or unique. And you know, that, that's a kind of a bi-color toning look in some regard. Again, creative color effects. But the point is split color warmth allows you to either amplify or decrease the intensity of separately the warm tones and the cool tones, which again, gives you a lot of control over the image. Now color balance, my personal favorite, I love this tool, I use it so much, and it's probably my favorite color tool in any product anywhere, like in the history of time. The nice thing about color balance is you have this drop down, so you have shadows, midtones, and highlights. It allows you to select that tonal region and then go adjust colors. And if you look at these colors, you might be thinking, hey, that's kind of weird, what is that all about? But if I go back, let me put these closer together. If I go back to my color wheel, you'll see that cyan and red are opposite, and the first slider is cyan and red. Next, you'll see that magenta and green are opposite. The next slider is magenta and green. And then the last slider is yellow and blue, and of course, yellow and blue are opposite on the color wheel. So these sliders basically are your major RGB, representing the color values in an image. I'm gonna close that, and then you can just adjust accordingly. So in the shadows, I might wanna go a little bit cooler, perhaps, and so I could drag away from the yellow toward the blue. So anything that's in the shadow is gonna get a bit more blue, and here I can make it a little bit more cyan if I wanted to, if I wanted to do a really cool overall kind of uh, look to the image. That's a way you can use shadows. And again, every photo is different, so this is not, you know, always do this or always do that. But I find myself often, especially in street or city photos, I'll be taking the shadows and make them a little bit cooler, and then I'll go into the midtones and highlights and make them a little bit warmer. So here, midtones, maybe you want to go a little bit more red. You can see how that's impacting the look of this sunset shot. And here it is making a little bit more yellow. That's warming it up quite a bit because there are generally a fair amount of midtones in a lot of images. So that's something that you can do. And then for the highlights coming in here, I might want to make them a little bit warmer because maybe I like that sunset. Maybe I want some magenta, give it a little bit of pink, maybe a little bit of yellow, and there you go. You can do that as well. So color balance gives you just amazing control over the three major tonal areas, shadows, midtones, highlights, and picking a color range and adjusting that intensity in each of them because the further you go in this direction, the more of that you're gonna get. So it's, it's an intensity slider. You pick a direction and it gets more intense. There's more magenta. Now that looks terrible, but what I wanna do is go in here and I'm just gonna adjust the photo using a little bit of each of these tools and show you how much control and power you can have on an image taking advantage of each of these tools. And I'm kind of winging it here. I don't really have a particular plan, but what I wanted to do is bump up this sunset and see if I can come up with something that I like just using this tool. So maybe something like that, and I might go into the highlights here. And I like a little bit of magenta in my highlights, and I want some warmth because it is a sunset. And there you go. That may not be the final look that I would go with. I'm just kind of hacking here, but I wanted to show you using a little bit of every one of these tools, you can have a huge impact on your photo. That's how we started, and that's where I am. And keep in mind, I haven't done anything else to the photo. No other tools have been used in this image except for color harmony. And yet I've got amazing color. I've got some nice contrast. I've got a pretty nice distribution of light. And I think the photo actually looks pretty nice. So there it is, once again, before, completely unedited. And there it is, having edited just with the four different aspects of color harmony. So as you can see, lots of power, lots of control. It's all about color. Color balance in particular generally requires some experimentation. There's not a, you know, if it's this, always do that. It's personal taste, season to taste, however you want to describe it, and to each his own. But these tools individually work really well and in combination can produce some really powerful color results as you can see here. So that's it my friends, that's a deep dive on Color Harmony. Hope it gives you some ideas about how these tools work and the different kind of things that you can do with it. And of course, as I said, lots of power, lots of control because I took a flat image with no color in it and turned it into a pretty striking, high contrast, powerfully colorful, popish, whatever the word is, uh, the colors pop in this final image and I just use Color Harmony. Hope that helps my friends, super powerful. Play with it, experiment, have fun, have fun editing. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this deep dive. Let me know what other images or, or tools you would like me to do deep dives on, and I'll be back really soon. Take care of yourselves out there. I'll see you in the next video, and adios.